Hello, Angie here from the workathomewife.com. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I just wanted to make a quick video here to show you how you can help keep your work at home job search more organized with a little tool called Trello. But what Trello does, it allows you to make these little boards. And these boards will give you a little visual of your workflow there so you can help keep things organized. Um, in our case, we're going to be using this to keep track of our job search and the jobs that we're applying to. Other people online, say bloggers, might use this for their editorial calendars or their editorial processes or even things like product creation. So rather than just a little checklist, to-do list type thing, this is going to let us see you know, what things we're working on and where we're at in that process. So first things first, this is going to be a public board that I'm going to share with you so you can make a copy for yourself to get you started. And I just want to show you how to do that. I'll drop a link wherever you're watching this so you can make a copy. When you click on the link, it's probably going to ask you to go ahead and make an account. Trello is free, so you can go ahead and do that. Just enter your email and your password. You don't have to worry about this being something that you're paying for. Once you do that, you're going to go over here to this menu, click more, and then click copy board. And that's going to copy everything for you that you see right here. And this is just going to give you a little starting place and then you can go ahead and customize it as you see fit for what you're doing. So in the first place here, I put in our first card here, our list is going to be, the first thing we need to do is get ready. And we're going to be doing a lot of batching here with our job search. So the first thing I want you to do is get your resume ready, get your skills list ready, so that when you're submitting these applications, you can just kind of do a whole bunch at once. You don't have to worry about starting from scratch each time. And whenever you see this little, this little line here, it's going to mean that this card has a description. So when you click on that, you're going to see that I have left you a link to my how to land your first work at home job that's going to give you some additional resume and application tips and also some templates if you need it. So once you get your resume ready, you are ready to start finding some jobs. And again, I have left you some links here to get you started. You've got my job leads page and a couple of good lists that I have on my website. So the first thing we are going to do is visit the leads page. And the reason that I'm going to do this is to show you another cool little thing that Trello offers that is going to come in handy for you. So I'm going to scan down here and let's say that this is a job that I want to apply to. What I'm going to do is Trello offers a little extension for your browser. And if you click on that extension, when you're on a website, it's going to allow you to save it. So for us, we are going to go down here and save it to the board that is for current job openings that we want to apply to. We're going to click that and we're going to put Cytel as the name of the company. And we want to attach this because this is going to attach the link to this URL so we can visit it later when we're ready to submit our batch of applications. And now when we go back to our Trello board, we are going to see here's this job lead. So next up, let's say that we want to apply to this Amazon customer service job. The first thing that I want you to do here, I've made a little checklist for you. You are going to label this job card. I've made some labels for you over here to get you started. So these are things that maybe you want to keep track of, the different jobs you're applying to. Maybe you want to, you're looking for a little mix of full-time and part-time work. You might want to keep track of whether this is an independent contractor or an employee position. And maybe you want to mark down whether this is your dream job or whether this is just kind of a runner-up and you're going to be doing this while you're waiting for something else. 
or if the two pop up at the same time, you're going to know right away, this is the one I really want to go after. And you can also create some more labels here. Say you're applying to different jobs. Maybe you're applying to a mix of customer service and writing jobs or search engine evaluation. So those are different things that you might want to label your jobs at just so you know what you're looking at from here without having to open everything individually. So again, I've done this. Now I'm going to make sure that my resume and my cover letter are tailored to this job based on the description. Next I'm going to submit my application. And the last thing I'm going to do is move this over to the applied list. And I can also make some comments down here. And this is going to keep track of activity for me so I know what I've done. And once I'm done, I'm just going to drag this over here to Application Sent. And I'm going to move on to the next thing. Now for, say, this one that we just added here. Here it saved that URL for me that I can click through. But I, what I want to do first is I want to copy that checklist from before so I know what I'm doing. I'm going to copy items from right here and now it's going to pop these up for me so I know what to do first and again here's my labels so I can click what what I want to keep track of here and get on with my business so once we have our application sent the next step would obviously be if we get a request for an interview we're going to move them over here once we get that interview done we're going to send a thank you email to the person that interviewed us and then we are going to put it here in the waiting on response now what I have also done here is Trello lets you add in some little extras here and one of those extras is power-ups and these are just different little things that will help you you know depending on what the board is that and the workflow is that you are working on what I've done is added in enabled the card aging and what's going to happen here is as these are sitting in the waiting on response they're slowly going to start fading away and that's going to let me know that you know i apply to this job and nothing's really happening I'm just kind of waiting so I need to move on to the next thing and you know and maybe once these disappear if you see the job lead pop up again maybe it's a good time to reapply because just because you've applied to something once doesn't mean you should never apply for it again that position's going to come open again and maybe they don't keep all of the applications from before maybe they start fresh every time so this little aging card power-up is going to kind of let you know how long it's been since, since you've worked on a job. And again, if you're accepted, you can put that job there. If you're rejected, you can add another, add another here. And all you have to do to do that is just click the enter or add a list and put rejected so you can kind of keep track of the different places that you have applied and what the outcome was. So that is how you can keep things a little more organized when it comes to your job search. As always, if you have some questions, just leave me a comment here or send me an email through theworkathomewife.com and I would be happy to help you out. Thanks so much. Have a great day.